Is it then too? Then it's then too, isn't it? Okay. She's on the live. We're live now. We're live. Yeah. I'm too busy drinking my beer. What the fuck? Well, welcome back, <laughs> everyone, to the MMA UK <laughs> Late Show. Uh, back for the first time in, in quite a while. Certainly the first time this year. I'm here with my fabulous co-host, Peter Knox. Yeah, and just before we start, I just want to thank everybody because we done a quiz last week. And Was it Jordan Smith one, didn't it, Katie? Was it Jordan? Yeah. He, was, a lot of people said it was a fix because he works for MMA UK, but he'd not done nothing. He just joined the team that very day, I think, or the day before. So yeah. well done to Jordan, and because it was so popular, people have asked us to do a quiz again this week. So we're going to do a mini quiz. I'm not quite sure how it's going to work yet. I know the people watching will be able to answer questions. I don't know if we'll see them or if Kate will be able to answer them out or if we'll be able to take part. So I want to see how smart Aidan and Scott are. Uh, I'll get punched in so, the head for I'm not smart. <laughs> so, are so they having is... my questions, Peter? I don't know. Yes, I, I don't even know the questions. I knew them last week, and I got I got my own questions wrong last week. <laughs> so, so did so I. I. <laughs> you can I'm hear. So, I'm on this. You can hear me. So right, you can so see I, me. I'll right, show you questions. I think we can hear Frankie Anderson. He's our tech guy, so he'll be shouting out the questions. So Aiden and Scott I need to answer some now. So we'll Shall see we how smart. Aiden and Scott before. Yeah, uh, I'm just away to if you just if, if you shut up, woman. If you just <laughs> let me. Okay, <laughs> okay. Oh, it's right. a Peter Knox show. It's a Peter Knox show, remember. I came on the show to get away from my wife. It's a pale dog show. <laughs> right, so this is show number 21. The first 20 shows, if you want to find them, are on a YouTube channel. So if you go to We Are MA UK and subscribe, all these shows, all our interviews go on there. It's the easiest way to find them. So go subscribe. If you're liking the show tonight, give it a like and a share. Now I'm going to pass you over to my wife and she'll introduce her guests. <laughs> I just wanted to introduce our fabulous guest this evening before we start the amazing quiz. <laughs> We're here with Scott Malone. Thanks, Scott. And Aidan Stephen. Aidan, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. definitely it. outnumbered with the Scottish people tonight, so take it easy on me, guys. <laughs> that sounds like a porno, no Braveheart. <laughs> okay, now. Yeah. Oh, God. We've only just started. So, <laughs> I I'm not sure what the deal is with the quiz, Peter. That, why don't you tell us? I, I don't know. I think Frank, the, the people doesn't know watching, either. I think the, quick, the, the people will be able to... I don't know if there's multiple choices, there, Frankie. Three choices. choices. Frankie? I'm right, going to post cho one. Now. This is the test. It's a poll to see who's going to win the pipe challenge. Right, okay. So let's get into so that. Should, this will pop up on your screen. This is how everybody's tuning in. They want, to, they want to know how quick we can down one of these. I thought I'm only one drinking tenant, the rest of them are drinking piss water. But at the end of the show, we're all going to down a pint and see who's quickest. Now, if it goes <coughs> in popular or not, what we'll do is we'll do a leaderboard as well, so future guests can do it as well if they want to, like next week and whatever. So, can we not just down the pint just now? Do you want to do it first? Let's, yeah, do, yeah, let's yeah, get for five minutes for the, the right, give, it, give it, Give it five minutes, right? Let, let us fill our glasses, right? I'm just right? worried about hosting the show. Uh, well, my using I'm using a jug. In I think people, most people, I did a, a poll earlier on, and they voted the jug. So I'm going to do it in a jug. I thought so, most people voted for the show after I suggested. No, it. see, see next week I might I'll, I'll do a shoe or a welly or something. Oh fuck! I've got a Scott Scott Malone. Look, that's kind of <laughs> we've got. Look, yeah, we need to wait five minutes for that head to die down, and then we'll do it. So, Frankie, is the question up for people to choose on? It's no popping up for some reason. Right, might Frankie. Work. Right, Frankie, the tech guy's fucked up for a change, so give him a couple of minutes. But, <laughs> but have you had too much to drink today? Hang on, put it in the comments, right? So who do you think is going to down the pint the quickest? Scott, Aidan, Katie, or me? Put it in the comments right now. And uh, you guys, your glass is filled. Are you going for yeah. it? Yeah, I was hoping Kate. mine would get a bit flatter before right. I had to do it. Right, that's one I can. I need to him through the whole show. I need to put more in. Hang on. Oh. Oh, Scott's, Scott's, Scott's isn't even full. See, 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 see if I get beat. Head just went there. I'm going up to the line. Oh, oh, I'm Scott, I, Scott, oh, hang on. I'm still short, yeah, hang on. I need to move this in case. Oh, hang God. On. Right, hang on. What's the thinking behind doing it first? I don't know. Did funny? Daddy, that's you, Mark. Right, look, it's up. <laughs> <laughs> It's juice, darling. That's too much. Happy it's juice. too much. Right. I know it's, it's too much, isn't it? Mama, you wait, guys I like, all I'll... call it diluting juice. Like what we call orange squash. I saw this I argument on no, no, the other no, day. You just got to drop in and put, 
for it's everybody like, up in Scotland. No, you Dylan, just, that's what you call it, Glasgow. Right. Oh, just right. in Glasgow. Right, I don't I'm know ready. what they call it. We're doing oh, what, what are you even doing? Right, Katie. Kieran Sutherland said oh. Aidan Stephen without a doubt is going to win. Mason thinks Katie's going to win. Oh, Mason, I don't want to disappoint you, but this just ain't going to happen. Right, what? I'm, I'm getting attacked here. Somebody <laughs> voted for Peter. Somebody right. actually voted for Peter on the Who? Right, I doesn't tell you. Right, you need to sit back. You need to sit back because you don't want your heart, do you? Why? You don't fall off the chair. What right. are you even doing? Right, go over there. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to drink my juice like a good boy. Right. I won't stand. <laughs> yeah, you stand over here because I don't know where he's going to go. Right. So is Frankie going to do a countdown or what? It's fifty-fifty now in the Can pool. Fifty-fifty. Maybe he's voting for Scott. Maybe he's voting for Scott. I've, I've never drank. Yeah. I've never drunk a jug before. Right, Frankie, do it. Do you want me to set a timer to see yeah. if it's on, on the stopwatch? And also, you have to say three, two, one, go. Right, two seconds to get this stopwatch on. Mark. I'm sorry to everyone who voted for me. I'm going to suck at this. See the bit of the jug where you put it out? I don't know where I put that round my mouth or... I think Katie's going to win this. Uh, I've just got a feeling. Uh, nah. <laughs> it's, ready? it's just a trick to it, isn't there? And I haven't got it. What are you ready? doing? Yeah. Yeah. Two, one, go. <laughs> yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> that was that was pretty impressive. It's six point eight seconds. <laughs> it's all over you. I told you I was stuck at that. Six point three seconds. What was I, Frankie? I yeah, just finish. I just went for the it's fastest. All over you. Yeah. I know. So it's just Aiden wins. Six point three two seconds. You know you must have. I want to end the show. Do I win anything for that? What? <laughs> you're top of the leaderboard. But, yeah, see if you're in the leaderboard at the end of the year, we'll give you a t-shirt, right? A t-shirt. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take you for a night out right, in Glasgow. Give me some I'll Cage take, Warriors I'll, tickets or something. I'll take you for a night out. You don't need tickets, you get them for free. You're not getting you know? Cage Warriors tickets, Aiden. Yeah, I meant to say USC. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit higher. <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll, get, we'll get you tickets for the island when they have this fight, whatever it is on the island, the Bruce Lee Island. You can come on top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, uh, Aiden, you want, you want uh, Cage Side tickets for on top? Or Battle Arena? Or? Oh, it's alright. I'll sneak in. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I normally do anyway. Right, so Frankie, who was third and fourth? I didn't even notice. I didn't. Who was? I think I was last. Aye, right, so it was it was Aiden, Peter, Scott, then Katie. Right, okay. So we'll, we'll, what we'll do is we'll watch it back. We'll get the seconds up. We'll do a leaderboard, and then if anybody else wants to have a go. I think next week we've got Brian Lacey, so if he wants to down the pint, whatever, so you can do it. So, I didn't well, want to emasculate you all by winning. Uh, so, <laughs> I'll pass you back on to Katie now, and Katie will give you guys a bit of time now. You can plug whatever you want, right? So, I just wanted to talk to you guys about life in lockdown. Um, lockdown haircuts, maybe we'll start with you, Scott. <laughs> Is that just it? <laughs> Were you bored of dealing with how long it got? Yeah, it was, it was getting along, so I thought, fuck it, I'm going to shave it. And then my wife is dyeing her hair, so I was like, you know what, put some dye on my hair. That was it. Ended up with this tennis ball. Do your slim. I heard. I'm, but you still ain't coming. <laughs> 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 I heard one of your students. Oh, you can slim shady. Come out to slim shady next time. <laughs> <laughs> Aiden, your trim looks pretty fresh. Have you been having secret haircuts? I cut my hair today, look at that. <laughs> nice baby. Did you do it yourself? All by myself. I chose the back, but... You need to see this. <laughs> That's not bad. I'm sponsored, by, I'm sponsored by a barber as well. He's getting to the butt. I'm going to just cut my hair from now on. He's still cutting your hair for you. Nah, like I say, I'm sponsored by a barber. He normally gives me a good haircut. He'll be horrified when he sees I've done this. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> he can save it for you at least, though, when when you're allowed to go back there. Yeah, it's it, it could be worse. I've seen I've seen worse haircuts. <laughs> like, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> well, Pete has gone for the don't do anything to it until lockdown's over. Look. Yeah. How long are you going to grow it, Peter? Me, I'm just, I'm off, because 
think Frankie done it, he shaved it all off. I think he done it again, didn't you, Frankie? Twice. Ah, I went over it again, aye. Just because just everybody was shaving it, but I'm still at work and stuff every day, I just thought, fuck it, I'll go over it and just go as long as I can. Usually it gets a bit itchy by now and all that, and just, especially in the summer. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. So I thought, fuck it, I'll keep it going yet. This is probably the longest I've had it. So. I was speaking to Frankie's mate, Gab, I think he's been going his for a year. So I thought a couple of months would be, it'd be the same as him, but no, he said it took him a year to get to what he was. So I thought, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see if it's still here next week. Peter, you're hammered after that pint, aren't you? <laughs> I'm, no, I'm hammered after the 20 pints of the day. I was going to say, I, 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 I think Peter was hammered before he came on this. Aiden, Aiden, I'll go for a rematch at the end of the show. Uh, <laughs> he's taking how many budgets he's got left. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> No, see, no, I've been drinking all day. It's my long weekend. I'm not back to work to Tuesday, so I thought, fuck it, get hammered. Still working. Well, that's not the only challenge right. that you guys key... have been doing. Oh, Sorry, God, Peter. I'm a, I'm a key worker. I'm, well, I only deliver junk mail and shit, but so I need to still go back to work and stuff. So, and just to give a shout out to the NHS, carers and all that, and all the other key workers, even delivery drivers and stuff like that. So. So, well done to everybody that's still working and hopefully we can get back to normal because it is going down a bit so hopefully we'll be okay in a few months whatever. I thought so, MMA wise I think there'll be a lot of closed door events which we'll get on to later on when we talk about UFC and stuff so. I just want to see Scott smiling again <laughs> he's so <laughs> negative man. he used to be so happy hey, if you fucking you've got a house with two kids that are fucking nuts and a wife that's also and nuts. A, and a hair cut like that. Scott, Scott, I'll double you, I'll raise you four kids and then moan and wife, so. <laughs> Stevie McIntosh said, is that <laughs> Eminem? Yeah, that's how you're, you're 20 cans deep. <laughs> exactly. I'm numb to the pain now, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> fuck you, Ben. <laughs> Was that to your four year old daughter you just done that, Peter? <laughs> no, she's <laughs> away now. Leo took it away, so. I'm safe, I'm safe at the moment. Something. Guys, that's not the only challenge that you've been doing in lockdown, is it? The the pint challenge. I see. I don't even know if it was the challenge when Scott you ran a marathon and then Aiden you just decided the next day you would run a marathon. I don't even think you were nominated. You just took that as a personal challenge, didn't you? No, I just you can't insane. see me doing anything. It's just got to beat me every time. <laughs> <laughs> Expect that here. You can keep. You win the haircut. You can have that one. <laughs> <laughs> did no start off to plank, Aiden? Did you know challenge Scott to be a plank or something? I don't know even Scott, Scott did it. My kids done it and made you all look like pussies, but... I nominated Scott to do loads of things, but he just moaned about it. <laughs> so if anybody's watching at home, right, and you fancy nominating anybody for a challenge, nominate Scott because he's well up for it. I will definitely 100% ignore you. <laughs> 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 it was the worst thing you could have said though because I was like researching earlier and your entire Facebook page now is just people yeah. who know it's going to piss you off so they've nominated you for everything Yeah, I just, I just like the comments and then that's it and I just never do it <laughs> oh, Fuck. What's, what's the best challenge out there at the moment? Have you done the handstand putting the t-shirt on one? No, that's, that's, that's a shit one man what about the egg it's challenge? It's a lot harder than it looks. It took me ages. <laughs> Katie, you done the egg one, didn't you? You cracked the egg, didn't you? Yeah, I did crack the egg. I think it must have been a weak egg. I'd, I'd only seen people do it, and then so I just thought I was going to do it. I, I, I think it, my... And then no, after I, that, nobody else could do it. Yeah. I'd done it. I think my egg was boiled or something. Cause it just was <laughs> what the fuck, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I tried my hardest, but fucking... Someone boiled it, I think. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> No, the marathon challenge was the hardest one. So how long did it take? How, how, so how long did it take both of you then? Four hours. Could be, I think it was five hours. Something like that. Yeah. Four hours, five hours. Because I thought I, I, I'm thinking about running the marathon in the next couple of years. I, I don't I don't mind running, but I'm not like a, an expert or nothing. But I thought if I do a marathon, I'd probably want to do it in three hours. I think that, that's kind of the target into the going rate for an three average hours. runner. Yeah, that's to go and that's not happening. No, that's, that's not an average runner's speed. So, so Aidan, we'll no. run a marathon next year and we'll see how long. Do you cut? Uh, Peter, I reckon you'll take about four and a half hours. No, I can that's, beat you. That's, 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 <laughs> no, that's, that's normal. Like. Three hours. No, three, three, hours, three hours is a good, ta- hours, good target, isn't it? Four and a half hours is normal. 
Peter for people who train for a marathon. Red. Scott hadn't done any training. <laughs> That's what I the longest I've ever run before that was 10k. So Scott, Scott, I see you. I seen that when you done the marathon. Your your mate you done it with. He was like, if you if you put your mind to it, you can do anything. Was it? It was that kind of type of thing, wasn't it? Is that why you done yeah. it? Yeah, that was it. I said it on my Facebook. I said like, I want to run a marathon. It was always one of my goals from um, <laughs> from the start. And uh, my mate Kim, who's on the marathon with me, he was like, right, let's just do it. I was like, fuck it, let's just go. So I obviously ran, and then I got to like halfway, stopped for about maybe two minutes or something, and honestly, my hips, my legs, everything was broken at that point. But we kept going, kept going. I think we hit like 16 mile, and I had to walk. And then eventually got running again, and then I think it was like the 21st mile. Yeah. Just Generally, I was like ready to stop. And Kieran's like, let's keep going, keep going. So we walked for a while. And then um, once we hit like 23 miles, I think we're running around. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah, you can my cans down much. <laughs> yeah, we ran the rest and then ended up getting, I think it was under, I don't know, Kieran's got the time. I'm pretty sure it was just under five hours or four hours, I don't know, one of them. Yeah. See, so your mate, was he, is he like just a normal guy or is he... Just no, Kieran's fought MMA in that before as well. Oh, right, okay. I've, yeah, so he's, he's not fought for a while, but he's he still trains. He's still a really good striker, uh, yeah. good MMA. So he's always I, in good shape as well, isn't he? Yeah. Sorry? Kieran's always in good shape. Like, yeah, he's, he's always training. He's always training. So I could go to bed today and go, right, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, and then wake up in the morning and I could beat, I could beat Aiden Steven in the fight. Is that weird? If I really believe it, I could beat Aiden. Well, yeah, some this... a, a very high level of fitness to begin with, as well as the mindset. Well, I, can, drink, I can drink 20 beers a day, that's a good fitness level, isn't it? You'd have to get a uh, featherweight as well, Peter. You're looking awful fat just now, so... I don't think <laughs> So here, so do you know what, Martin McKay? Hang on, Aiden, Aiden, what weight are you? Seventy-three kilograms. So what's that in stone? I'm, I'm a stone guy. Is that uh, just over 11, 11 and a half? Eleven, just under eleven and a half. Yeah, I can make eleven stone. Oh, no worries. Mm. Have a wee roll. <laughs> for charity, <laughs> we do it for charity. I can last, I, I, hang on, I can last a minute. That's not what your wife said. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, you up for that? Then we can touch each other. <laughs> <laughs> you see why you get in room? <laughs> right, you three leave this the couple of seconds. This is getting so weird. <laughs> <laughs> right, Frankie, what were you saying? Frankie, Do you know Mark McKay? Yes, bro. He said you would struggle to run a bath in three years, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like I don't have had a bath for a while. <laughs> I've no showered yet. I've been sweating all day. I looked at the average, average marathon for right. a fit person, 45, between four and four hours. There's no way you're doing three hours. Right. So, Frankie, how, yeah, how long do you think I could no do it? I'll probably about five hours, eh? Right, so if I could do it in four you'll hours... Pretty, if pretty, I can do it... If you're walking loads yeah, of miles could, every day. If I could do it in four hours, you'd pay money to charity next year. If I can do it next you've year got to beat in four my hours. time. Oh, and then I'll, I'll pay money to charity. If you can well, do it in four hours, I'll have sex with Scott. He's <laughs> 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 laughing for free anyway. <laughs> Katie, what was your time? <laughs> four hours, three. Three minutes. Yeah, four hours, that. three minutes. Right, okay. So, if you can do four or three minutes, I can do four hours. Come on. If you can yeah. beat Katie, if you can beat Katie's time... I'll pay 20 quid at least to charity. I will pay 20 quid. 20, 20. 20. I'm a fighter. I've never got any other source of income. 80, 20. Frankie, 20. That's 80 quid. So we'll probably get a few more, right? I'll do yeah. that. Ne- it has to, be ne- has to be next year, right? No, I'll give you time to train. We want you to do it. Scott done it. I just went out and done it. We want you to go and do it. Hang on, hang on. One more. A week in Tuesday. I'm you have a year's uh, worth of training. A week in Tuesday. I'll do it a week in Tuesday. There you go. All right. Deal. Right. There you right. go. Jesus. I'll do it. I'll time with my, my Apple Watch. That's a drink, drink talking. I know. <laughs> That's it. No. <laughs> but, 
That's the good thing about me. See, I could go and find my old tomorrow. Easy. At least you don't have on the internet where it'll be documented. I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll hold you to that. It's, it's easy. Play the do you know how you're going to roll Aiden? You can touch yeah, I'm, well, we can touch you there. I'll, Aiden, you think I could last a minute with you? Rolling. No. There you go. <laughs> so we'll do that for charity. And we'll do, I'll do it with Scott as well. I'll do it with you all. Scott, you think I could do a minute with you? Was it striking or rolling? Rolling. <coughs> striking would be over in five okay. seconds. What are you talking about? <laughs> but rolling, I feel like you can be really defensive. So you could just like roll not to get tapped. Does it look like I've rolled before? <laughs> Somebody's asking if Peter's on track. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, we'll, we'll do some good just stuff, right? Just be honest, we're all stressed out. We just want to get back together and have a bit of fun. That's the point of doing the show just now. So we all want to get back together, try and get back to a bit of normality. Probably be next year before that happens, best at local level. But we'll see. Have you ever seen this... the video of Joel is on and Nick the Tooth? And Dana White says he'll give Joel is on $1,000 every time he taps him in five minutes. I've not seen Joel, it. He submits him like 20 times in five minutes or something. <laughs> it's so funny. You need to watch it. If are you guys rich? <laughs> if you yeah. guys are rich, I'll do that for a grand that goes wrong. <laughs> you got a kind of for everything that's happening. <laughs> Amy, I see. I see Amy saying I couldn't last a minute with either of them, but I could last a minute with Amy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all right. Good thing about Amy. <laughs> Good thing, Amy. I like that. We've got no HR department at MMA UK. That's why I can get away with this shit. <laughs> see, see, this show was you. The reason this show was on YouTube, Facebook, all shut us down. I don't think I want to know. <laughs> right, Kate, do you want to interview the guys or what? So we get on some yeah, crazy shit. Yeah. So. <laughs> Aiden, listen, let's uh, talk about your last fight. I'm actually interviewing Jack Collins tomorrow. Um, really good guy, but it couldn't have gone any better for you, uh, could it? Yeah, me and the Tiger King. The Tiger King. <laughs> Tiger King. Oh, bless him. I think he's such a, like a, a fun, sweet guy. And um, yeah. yeah, I'm really looking forward to talking to him tomorrow. But yeah, he's, he's an interesting character, isn't he? Yeah, we've kept in touch since the fight. He's a cool dude. He's. Uh, I was going to say, how much interaction did you manage to have? Because I know Cage Warriors kept everyone like super no, separate we, and everything. We weren't allowed. We weren't allowed anywhere near each other, so we never got a chance to. Literally, like, only when you were in the cage. Yeah, that was it. And as soon as, as soon as the fight was over, you had to leave in a taxi back to the hotel. You weren't even allowed to stay at the yeah. venue. Which is good, you know. It was, it was run professionally, but um, yeah, it was it was a first. But I like like Peter said, I reckon there'll be a few more closed doors events before the end of the year. So it's something we're probably gonna have to get used to for just now. I'm gonna take this opportunity to yeah. ask you a question. In how did it feel to play in the cage with this, with no fans? It, it, I I didn't notice it, man. I was no. Nah. I was, I just had one. You know, I was. I turned into a bit of a psychopath at fight time and just focus on trying to hurt the person in front of me. Yeah, I, I didn't really notice. But I, I tell you, when I was getting I was getting my hand raised at the end of the fight, then I noticed because normally you can yeah. hear the crowd. But it wasn't yeah. until then. So you, you, so you zone out the crowd and all that? So when there was a crowd there, you don't even know they're there kind of thing? You're just focused yeah, on... Yeah, so, like, so like my last, last three fights before that, I'd always been in my opponent's hometown. So... Um, you know, like, blocking out the booze and everything, like, I remember saying to one of my coaches after the fight, I said, oh, the crowd weren't that bad, were they, you know, in terms of booing me, and he was like, are you joking, they booed you, booed you? <laughs> like, they were booing, like, fuck, I was like, oh, I never even noticed, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good at blocking out the crowd. Um, but it must be weird celebrating afterwards with nobody there. Yeah, that's that's when it hit me. Like if I if I fucked up the backflip, it wouldn't have been a bad. It wouldn't have been so bad. <laughs> <laughs> but also, like you can't even normally you go back to the hotel and have a drink in the bar and like there's loads of randoms around as well as your little posse. Yeah. And obviously there was none of that. No, there was four of us cramped into a hotel room <laughs> drinking whiskey. 
<laughs> Got a bit back. Social distancing at its finest. <laughs> Four of you in one hotel Was it no, no Gaethje fucked up a backflip off a USC cage one, didn't he? No, uh, it he was, went back. Was it, it wasn't USC, it? it was yeah. another promotion. Was that another oh, promotion? No, it was USC. It was it? USC, yeah. He yeah. fucked it up, didn't he? And then he's like, I want to back up, I want to do it again. I can't, did you do it again? I think he did. Yeah, he did it again. It was, yeah. He fell off the cage. Yeah. 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 That's it, that's amazing. It's just that knackered. He puts that much in, but obviously it was a lot earlier in the fight that, that you were doing your backflip, Aiden. And you were supposed to be fighting my teammate, Emra. Um, yeah. I would love for that fight to be remade. Is that a fight you would be interested in, in doing in the future? I, I don't care. I don't care who I fight. I'll, I'll fight anyone. I'll just fight here. Whoever's name's in the contract. Um, I, I don't care. Katie, who do you think we win that fight? <laughs> <laughs> I've got to go with my boy, but what I will say is um, it, it would be a massive statement. Whoever whoever won that fight, I feel like yeah. it would really put their name on the map because it would it would mean a lot to, to take that victory. And that's why I really would... I, I don't want either of you to lose, if I'm honest, but... I feel like it would really propel the other person's career. Um, Emma's been really unlucky with injuries and with pullouts, so he hasn't fought the calibre of opponent that he would have liked to have yeah. fought. I could tell, no offence to the people him. he has fought so far. but I could tell from his fight, first fight in Cage Warriors, he is, he's a great, he's, he is really good, he's really talented. So it He was, was super disappointed in his performance in, in that fight. And that no, he wasn't. Like, he, just said that. he was just trying to act cool, but he wasn't disappointed. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't believe that. Um, he, was, he was just trying but, to act cool. Yeah. It, no, I don't believe that. That, was, I, that, was, that was definitely his best really performance. Like That's what oh. he thought. That's definitely his best performance. He was like, oh, I can fight so much better. No, he can't. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. fuck him up. <laughs> fuck him up, baby. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> but, so, Cage Warriors 113 or 113, what, you're like, how would you sum it up? Because you're part of history now. That that really was the last event before things, well, it was the last event that we've all seen. Yeah, it was a, a really cool card. I, I don't understand why, um, uh, Aimable and Goodwin weren't on the main card. Like, there was always going to be fight of the night, so why did they not put that on the main card? Uh, and then, obviously, the decision as well. I, I haven't watched the fight back. Um, initially, I thought Aimable had won, but I saw a lot of people saying that, you know, um, they thought Goodwin had won, so I'd have to watch it back. But, um, you know, obviously, I'd, I'd love a rematch against Steve. But at the same time, I'd rather just keep fighting different people and getting different fights. Um, I imagine Beedwin's going to fight for the title next. Or uh, the media. What's the belt? Yeah. For the, the uh, interim belt, that's the one. Yeah. Maybe he'll fight for that. So I, I don't know who's left. I'd love to fight uh, the wee Irish kid, whatever his name is. The. Um, He's six no at featherweight. I can't remember his name. Jack Hughes. Oh, Paul Hughes. Is that? Yeah, Paul Hughes. Paul Hughes. Yeah. You know, lightweight. No, no, he's featherweight. I'm sure I've seen him fight lightweight before. Yeah, Maybe I, think it was a fought, I think he fought a lightweight because his opponent pulled out tightly or something like that. But that that'd be. I think a cool he fought out one fifty the last time. Fuck knows. I'm, I'm sure he fight featherweight. Frankie, are you able to I'm look just that up? My mind's gone blank on um, <laughs> on names and weights from drinking Probably the pint at the start of the can show. I, can I just say anybody watching as well? Carry on drinking wine while we're doing it. Anybody it's watching? Did say featherweight. Feel free to ask questions as well. If you've got a question for Scott, you've got a question for Aidan, or even me and Katie, just this is your chance to be an interviewer. If you give a good fucking question, it might even give you a job. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> <laughs> So if anybody got any questions, ask them. Hold with their cans, please. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know me, I'll, I'll take anybody on with We got all the uh, It's also in Featherweight. Charming. <laughs> feel really special. 
<laughs> well, at least with Jordan winning that quiz last night, I won't have him in a couple of weeks. Why, Katie? You got an MMA UK t shirt and I don't? At least he's got one now, so it won't matter. At least <laughs> he's, he's not got, got one. Yet. So, Scott, you fought a couple of weekends before Raiden. That was like the second to last show that we had here. Um, that one didn't go your way. Um, I think I've seen a few posts that you've put up about. 2019 being a shit year. Obviously, 2020 has been a bit of a shit year for everyone. Yeah. But I also saw on all of the posts, everybody being super supportive and just like <laughs> very eager to see you again. What What are your feelings? Um, for me, the fight, the last fight, obviously, was <coughs> I felt like I, I totally dominated the first round. Um, and it was just like... Fucking, I don't even know what happened. He threw a kick, I caught it, tried to take him down, and he just spun around my back, and it was on my back. And the way it happened as well, he caught my arm with his leg, because I was inside his leg. It was, it was stupid on my part, but really good on his part, so fair play to him, you know I mean? I, I believe I'm a better fighter, but he went away with the win. So what do you do? Yeah. You won the, you won the first round against Jack, so- uh, sure as well, Scott. Yeah, I mean, you are you're you are beating these guys. It's, it's nothing to be ashamed of. You are, you know, doing extremely well against these guys. I think you've just been really unlucky. Well, that's what I kind of feel. I feel like I've been unlucky, but at the same time, it's like, what the fuck are you doing? You know what I mean? So, back to the drum board. I was always before all all this shit happened. I was meant to be taking a break anyway, um, and reevaluating basically what to do. Like speaking to my management, speaking to my coaches, deciding what I want to do from here. Like not just, not just obviously with fighting, but like with, with training and stuff like that, and just taking a break and just enjoying myself, training rather than training for the fight. Getting myself fit and get myself mentally prepared for these for the next fight. I'm, I'm never going to quit fighting. I did a podcast on Friday, yeah, Friday with Dan Lester. Don't mention it. This is MMA UK, for fuck's sake. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. but he, asked, he, he pretty much asked me the same question, like, uh, where do you see yourself? I'm, uh, I say to him, like, I want to still fight. It's, it's in blood. I love it. And I'm never going to stop until I'm unhappy with what I'm doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm, I'm still happy that I'm coaching. I'm still happy that I'm fighting. So that will be there until I'm, I'm unhappy, obviously. You know what I mean? So oh, look at fighters. That I know. I know we control. see like Anthony Pettis and Wonderboy, and you know fighters like this, Anderson Silva. They've lost like three fights in a row, and mm. they've all came back to do massive things. Who cares? Yeah. Who cares what your record is? Just keep keep fighting, man. Just keep putting on these exciting fights and getting the wins. And who, look, at, <laughs> look, look at look, look at Michael Bisping. Nobody ever thought he'd be UFC champion. Look what he went through and all the defeats he took, and he took some bad knockouts and all that. But at the mm-hmm. end of the day, he became UFC champion. He beat Anderson fucking Silva. Anderson Silva. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. So, so Scott, see when you. I, had I that, think like, you're always going to be one of those. Always going to be one of those people that people look forward to being on a card. Like people are going to get excited about you being on whatever show they're going to. Like just and look out for your name and you're always going to be a fan favourite so it's up to you where you want to fight or when you want to fight next but mm. do you feel like lockdown came at a good time to kind of force you kind to of. take a break and think about things yeah it's, it's made me realise how much I've missed training because I've, I've really not done much I've, I've kind of after the marathon and stuff I've been a lazy fat cunt to be honest <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah it's made me like really miss training and, and really miss just hitting something or being hit. It's it's a strange feeling, but I, I miss getting punched in the head. But that that's it's made me fall in love with the sport like all over again. So as soon as this lockdown is over and as soon as I can start training properly again, then I'll be ready to fight, man. My cage order is contract right now. Yeah. So I don't know where to go from here, but. Maybe you get a, maybe like a local show, I don't know. But the goal has always been for me, for 
maybe the last year or two has has not been the UFC. It's been one championships. Yeah. That's that's been the goal for me. So for me to get on that show would be be amazing. So yeah, that's going to be the goal. Obviously, I need to win a couple of fights to get on there. Um, but I'll do what I've got to do and then see where it goes from there. What you had now? Nine yeah. fights. Ten. Crazy, man. Six and six and four. You know what I mean, like. But I. Sorry, I wait. could really see if Bellator going to Scotland next year. You fighting just like a a one fight deal on a on a Bellator card. I still love to see you fight Mike Hekandeo. Um yeah. And I I'm not sure if he's gonna be at Cage Warriors, like much longer so like that's a fight that I would love to see in another promotion um, you guys were always kind of same level <coughs> as Cage Warriors and I would I would just really like to see that fight and I could really see that happening on Bellator in Scotland see, that, um, that, just that, a that, few that, more fights that, and that's the problem then that you got this Bellator coming to Scotland was going to happen and stuff but because of what's happening right now it could be closed door event, like what UFC are doing very yeah. shortly. But well, Bellator risk do I can't see Bellator Europe doing a, a closed door Scotland event anytime soon. You know what I mean? But where are you gonna make their money? You know, so that's the problem. Everything's kinda back to scratch now, back to zero. So where Scott goes from here I don't know because but local shows, even Bellator, Cage Cage Warriors I could see them doing some closed door events, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. I, I don't know. It just because of this What's happening right now, nobody knows what's going to happen next. I think the big events will go on, closed doors, because they can do that. USC 249 is a pay-per-view, three countries, America, Canada, Australia. So they're still going to make money off that, and that's why they're doing it. So, But the local shows, can you see a local show like on top doing a, a pay-per-view maybe? I would watch it. I would pay a fiver, but we'll see. Maybe they will. We'll see what happens. But. I might put on a wee show in my back garden. <laughs> Well, yeah, you <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to last a minute with you in your back garden, Scott. That's what we're going to do. Your back garden, Aiden's bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Any comments? So Thank you. We... People say Danny, Danny's yeah. asking, who would your dream opponent be, dead or alive? Sorry, who? I'd rather they were alive. I know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Who would your dream opponent be, dead or alive? I don't know why he's put dead or alive to be fair. That's a bit... um, For me, what's the fight, Frankie Edgar? Both of you. Um, I don't know. <laughs> the way I'm feeling, fucking the guy from the back of the shops. Yeah. <laughs> Peter Knox. <laughs> I would go for John Wayne because he's dead. I could fucking choke him out easy. But, <laughs> but Scott, see from a, a mental point of view, right? So remember for the Jack Shore fight, right? So we're like, yeah. we're talking about you joining the UFC. And when it came up with Jack Shore fight, I was hoping Jack would join the UFC before that. No, because I thought Jack would win it. I just thought I would like to see both days in there. So you, mm-hmm. I don't know if you listen yeah. to what we say and what viewers say or Scott, yeah. a couple more wins, win the championship, we've got UFC. Now you've won, lost in a row, you're talking about you don't know where you're going to fight next. Does that have a, like, a profound effect on you? Are you still affected by that? Or? Definitely. It's had, it's had a big mental effect on me, to be honest. Like, been, I was sort of struggling after Jack Shore fight. I thought it was invincible, actually. And then, obviously, Jack beat me. And then I was like, it's, it's kind of been a downward spiral. But right now, I feel I've been... A lot happier since, you know what I mean, since the loss. But I'm, I just want to get back in the win column, man. And I'm, I'm just going to be more determined than ever just to get back in that win column. See, and see, um, pretty much see, prepare to do whatever it takes. See, I don't know if this helps. See, like Jack Shaw, he's like a, to me, he's like, he, he could go all the way and be a UFC champion. It's going to take mm-hmm. a lot to beat somebody like him. He's been training since he was a wee boy in the gym every day. So there's no shame in losing to somebody like that. And then no. Jack Cartwright as well, he's got some power and all that. And then the other one you were winning. So, does it, you know, take a bit of relief from that and saying, right, okay. It's, I've kind of felt like I've had a bit of bad luck, to be honest. Yeah. I've no shame in losing to any of them because they're all good guys. Like, none of them are, well, maybe Jack Cartwright was a wee bit. 
But um, <laughs> but he actually surprised me, to be honest. He, he, right. he came up to me at the last Cage Warriors, and he, he came up and shook my hand, and that surprised me because I never thought he would do that, to be honest. It was just before the way, and he's like, how are you doing, blah de blah And I just thought, before that, I thought he was a bit of a dick, to be honest. Yeah. But he came up and he says that, and I was like, you know what, I, I actually appreciate that. You know what I mean? It made me realise that he maybe is... He's just on the same goal as me. He's he's trying to get to the UFC. That that might be his way of, of fighting people. He might need to switch off before he fights somebody or or, or whatever. But the, the kid's got talent. You know what I mean? I never realised like the extent his background, like his wrestling and stuff beforehand. I probably yeah. should have done research. But yeah, like that is what it is. At the end of the day, Do, and, they, they, and well, they always they always say you win or you learn. So have you learned yeah. anything from these defeats that? So next time you're like that, I know what to do now, or is there something yeah, that... Yeah, don't get my back taken. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, we've got another question as well, Rab Truesdale. What's your favourite venue in Scotland to fight in? Apart from the Hydro, you said. Um, for me, personally, it would be, be the Caird Hall in Dundee. Like that would be ideal, but I doubt it would ever happen. I don't know, but it's not big enough for a UFC event, but it'd be big enough for a good MMA show. Aiden, yeah. I don't know. Where would you like to fight Aiden? Pub round the corner. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your favourite place you've fought so far, Aiden? Uh, you you fought in the mall, Aiden. You know, uh, Lagoon. You've been in Lagoon. That's a good venue. Yeah, yeah, I thought that. Yeah. Gone X is okay. I prefer the Lagoon. I think you get a better atmosphere there, but... Yeah. I prefer the Lagoon. Yeah. I I think That's where Battle Arena might be going. Battle Arena Scotland this year, but obviously because of what happened. I uh, was meant to be on commentary. top of there as well. What's that? I was meant to be commentary for Battle Arena. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, Me yeah. Can you imagine uh, that? Would, that would have been a dream team, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah. Never happened. So, so should we talk about um, UFC two four nine? It looks yeah. like it's definitely so, going ahead now, doesn't it? Next yeah. weekend. Looks like it. Yeah. It's so, uh, so what's, what's the what's the difference? Predictions for Tony and Don. What's the difference between ESPN, Mickey Mouse, whatever pulled the plug the last show? What's the difference now? Because in America, uh, the seem fact to be any that different. it was in California, that was going to be in California, and it was the governor of California phoned up. The, yeah, well, it was. Uh, uh, I didn't know that. PN, and it, that was hit. That's why he pulled the plug. So this is now in Florida, where they're crazy and anything goes. Um, yeah. As far as I know, Florida wasn't ever in like lockdown anyway. The people I know there were still training um, just normally. So I. I could easily see that going ahead there. It's just the travel that I guess will be odd. But so that Katie, will be by PJ, I suppose. Katie, before before we go into UFC yeah. 249, we need to go into the greatest question in the world. Because oh, Katie, God. Lewis, Danny, all you motherfuckers have stolen my question. Right? <laughs> so this will be the first time it's asked by me. So this question is to Scott and Aiden. Right? Actually, Katie, Katie, Katie can answer. It. Katie and Frankie can answer it as well if they want to answer it. But right, so we'll start with you, Aiden. Right, if you could change one rule in MMA, what the fuck would you change? That fucking stupid spike and elbow thing. Twelve to six. Yeah, man. Twelve to six. That's my. I would agree. That would probably be my rule as well, to be honest. I agree with Aiden as well. Oh, for fuck's sake, Katie, what would you change? Would you, Would you guys like to bring headbutts back? No. <laughs> that would be brilliant, wouldn't it? Flying the headbutt into the flying knee. Well, we, we get that quite a lot as an answer. People yeah. who want headbutts brought back. Did you I see that video of the security of the cold spot that's stuck the nut in the, the game? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. <it's amazing>. <laughs> <laughs> so, but because I, I created the greatest question in the world, nobody's ever asked me what I would change. So, this is what I would change. For a normal no, fight. We don't want to hear it. No, no we all agree, Peter. Yeah, yeah, we all in agreement. I question's done. I Question's reckon Aiden done, will like this one because Aiden's a big cardio guy so I think he'll like this one. No rounds. Just have a 15 minute fight and for a title fight a 25 minute fight and then you don't need to fucking worry about judges because most fights would finish. No, no no breaks. I agree and disagree but I like the what was it Pride used to do? First round was 10 minutes. 
Yeah. Yeah. And then two rounds after that, I think that I definitely think those rounds should be because like um, in terms of going back and speaking to your coaches, you can adopt the new strategy and stuff like that. And then you know, like that, the, the advice you can get in in between rounds can always change the fight. So maybe if there was more rounds or longer rounds. But yeah, if like a lot of fights nowadays, if you get taken down, all they have to do is lie on top of you for 15 minutes, you know what I mean? So I don't know, maybe maybe longer rounds or something like that. But maybe, uh, yeah, old pride rules. That's, that, I thought that was a really good one. Because there's so, never any really dodgy decisions back in pride, was there? I'm sure you could dick punch back in Pride, yeah. couldn't you? <laughs> no. UFC 1. UFC 1. <laughs> you could wear one boxing glove, couldn't you? Yeah. One, one shoe. <laughs> one shoe, one shoe. Can you not choke people out with your belt as well and stuff, couldn't you? I can't that remember old, that. That was all UFC. No, no, Gracie used to choke somebody out with the, the belt. I would, just use, I would just use my dick to joke people out. It's getting thumbs on here, isn't it? I know. <laughs> that's why, we that's why when we grab all in the bedroom, baby. Is that okay? <laughs> Are we allowed to move on to 249? Yeah, you can. It's yeah. you yeah, your show. Your show, women. Come on. Let's be honest, women are in charge, aren't they? Peter's going mm. to want to join in all your interviews, isn't it, Katie? <laughs> 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 Brilliant. <laughs> Can't wait. So, no, I just wanted to know people's predictions. For, first of all, are you gutted or surprised that Tony Khabib isn't happening? Gutted. Or is it just jinx to all eternity and it will never happen? I'm gutted, but at the same time, I'm excited for the next fight. I, I don't know why Khabib's getting such a hard time. There's a deadly virus going to hurt. If he doesn't want to fight, then... Yeah. You know I mean? No, it's... it's a hundred percent is is not his fault at all. I just do wonder if this fight is cursed and just never ever gonna happen. It'll happen at the end. Um, of the and the Justin fight is so exciting, and I'm really looking forward to it. But I feel like it's gonna put whoever wins is gonna have a lot of miles put on their clock because I can't see it being anything other than a war. And I don't know whether Tony needs another war before he fights Khabib. He's already older than him. He's already been in a lot of of fights, and it I don't know. It just it must it must diminish his chances of beating Khabib. I think having a, a fight like this first. What do you guys think? Yeah, yeah, I agree one hundred percent. I think Gaethje wins. Yeah. I a lot a lot of people think that don't they? Mm. for some reason. Gaethje. Sorry, not going to points. I'll never go to points. None of them are. None of them ever go to, go to decision. I, th- I think I genuinely think because both of them are so tough anyway. I think it might go to a decision, but I think it's going to be a war. But I think Gaethje is just going to edge it. Peter, I who think, do you think, Aiden? You know what? I said I said it quite early on. They get, I thought Gaethje would win, but Gaethje fights a bit smarter now, doesn't he? Before he was just stand toe to toe, but he now does avoid those hits. Tony's got that spinning elbows and whatever. He can fight off his back and stuff like that. It, it's a really good fight. It's, a, it's an entertaining one if it goes ahead. So I'm just looking forward to the, the chaos and the carnage. But I think Gaethje will edge it. Right, listen, I'm going for Ferguson. And I am willing to give both of you £50 each. I thought blowjobs. <laughs> <laughs> if you are willing to back, back up, back up. 50 quid? Did, 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 did you go to NHS or something? Did we put it in charity? No, my back pocket. <laughs> I am that confident that Ferguson will win. It's a, it's a great fight. Oh, I yeah. just think he edge it. I'm not 100% confident. If it was fucking Khabib Connor or go Khabib or something, I'd be that confident. But it's, it's, it's a tight fight. But Right, listen, Scott, Peter, if Ferguson wins, he's both owe me £10. What's shaking it right now? Can we not do a fucking a physical That's challenge shit. or something? Because <laughs> you two are not as fit as you think you are. Nah, yeah, I just want to roll about a couple of young men. I'm, I'm yeah, I'll, do, I'll do a ten. Well. Do, I'll do a ten. There you go. Ten pounds. Ten quid. Ten quid. Katie, you betting as well? I'm going to use both ten pounds. Katie, you betting? I'm going with Tony. Um, 
I just, I, I think he deserves it so badly. I feel like every time he puts in this extra fight before he fights Khabib, he always finds a way to win. And I just, I really hope he does it. And I love Justin as well. I, I, but he didn't. part of me thinks these two are always in such exciting fights. Will it be a shit fight? Just because no. everyone expects it to be so amazing. Aiden, if I win the bet, give the tenor to your local brothel because Holes needs some loving as well, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. There you go. We need some bit of loving. What other, what other fights are there even in the card? And what about? Yeah, yeah, the big one, the so, co main event. Sahudo, Sahudo Cruz is on the on the oh, card as well. Scott, that's your weight class. Yeah. What does everyone think of Cruz being given the title shot? I don't think he deserves it, but I kind of do it at the same time. He's, he's took his opportunity. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's he's, no one else. Yeah. I think he's going to lose, but I really want to see Sahudo get knocked out, man. Yeah, I fucking Sahudo, hate the cringe. Sahudo wins this fight. Cruz isn't the person to knock someone out, though, is he? No, that's it. He's, he's not. He's more of a points sort of guy. He's He might beat him on points, but I doubt it very much. Um... Henry Cejudo, the cringe, he proper cringes me out. I, I'm like really, really get really cringed about things, <laughs> and he yeah. he cringes me out so bad, man. Do you know, you know, I think there's a chance Henry might underestimate him and stuff and just fuck about. And you know, I think he <sighs> might. Nah, I just yeah. Cejudo wins. Knock, he knocks Cruz out. I think Cejudo he, wins. Cruz, he Cruz ever been knocks knocked him out? out. Yeah, Mark say. I don't know about that. I just wow. got Cru- hey, you got in some betting odds. Cruz is a man. There you go, Aiden. You like to beat the bookies, don't you, Aiden? Let's see what we it's usually not, do. It's not yeah. betting if you know you're going to win. Come on, Aiden, a couple you, of you, mates. Aiden, you're the favourite when we go a rematch in this pint in about five minutes. <laughs> Peter, you said you were going day three in a row. Well, I've done one. He's looking at his can. He's going to do three uh, in a row, Peter. I've done about 12 now. Did I say that? You I think you should. I, I tell you what, when we've got. Not because they, they, they never made the claim that they did it, so it's just when, stupid. When, when we have some boring guests on, so maybe in two weeks' time I'll do that, right? I'll do the three pint glass. Everybody seems to spew for that, I don't know why. It's hard. The gas. That is disgusting. So the so gas. One more fight that I wanted to talk about on that card was um, Pettis versus Cowboy. What do we think is going to happen there? Cowboy ends. Do you think? Uh, it depends if Cowboy shows up. Yeah. <laughs> and how do we know if Cowboy's going to show up or not until he's Nobody in? Nobody knows. Not even he knows. Well, but I had yeah. I won't I won't mention names, but I had a member of the team say if it was like a sparring session, uh, Soroni would have knocked out Connor or beat Connor or whatever. And I just thought people say when it comes to the big fights, Soroni kind of bottles it. You, would you agree with that? I don't. I don't agree with that. But. Uh-huh. No, I just think no. Connor's a better fighter, and that's why he beats Cerrone. You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. Yeah, but I don't. I don't believe when he said, "Oh no, if it was a sparring session or something." He, and it's he a definitely crowd and all does that. have terrible, terrible nerves. Like he's. I mean, he's the first to admit he's throwing up backstage and stuff. But he's like had plenty that. of fights to deal but with it as well, is not he? He's a plenty, I don't know whether it hindered his performance to that extent that it would have changed the outcome of the fight. I don't think so. They've both got, I think, Pettis and Cerrone have both got a little bit of doubt in their minds that they sometimes quit if things aren't going their way. So I, I think it will very much depend on, I don't know, they've both done some amazing things. When you think of Pettis knocking out Wonderboy, like, that that came when he was losing the fight, so maybe I'm talking shit, actually. <laughs> I, I think Pettis, I think Pettis beat Cerrone. That's a better fight. That's a better bet. Than the fucking bet. Too late. No, that's, that's a better bet, isn't it? <laughs> let's go Pettis Cerrone. That's a better bet. That's yeah, but I'm, not, I'm not confident on that one. So. Oh, here we go. Here we go, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got another question, Penny. Yeah. What, what is the best fight you've seen? Ooh. Probably that. Scott uh, Malone. Scott base. Malone v. Aiden Stevens. What show was that was on? What show was that? That was a long time ago. Oh, that was on... What show was that? It was like... The Art of Combat, no. The Rise of Spartans or something? The Rise of Spartans. Oh, I was up in Aberdeen. 
Yeah. What fight was it? You two. Our fight. <laughs> Oh, right. Yeah, man, that was uh, 2014, Rise of Spartans. Yeah, Back in the day. day. So are you two quite friendly then? Yeah, man. Yeah, I send yeah. Scott abuse all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Constantly. So that's a good thing then, isn't it? You know what I mean? It is. Yeah, man. I don't think I've ever had any sort of animosity between anybody I've ever fought, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because we didn't stay reasonably close... We've trained together and that every now and again as well, so it's always... Scotland's a little place, obviously. So it's good to get training with just fucking guys that you, you would never normally train with. So you, you two kind of train round about in other gyms in Scotland as well, don't you? You come uh, you drop in and get some yeah. sessions in, uh, which is a good thing, because people yeah. think, oh, Scottish M may I can't train in that gym, but you kind of guys go a bit round about, don't you, and train at the moment. Uh, I love to travel. There's only two man. gyms that aren't, like, aren't very friendly. <laughs> than any names, but um, the the rest of them seem to be okay. Who are they, Aiden? Go on, tell us. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I do, you don't strike me as someone to sit on the fence. Yeah, but I'm friends, with, I'm friends with both of them, so. <laughs> oh, they're just not very friendly. <laughs> Put this way, no. the, be- the better people you come in your gym, even get a few sessions with, the better they make you as well, isn't it? A little bit learning. Yeah, definitely. I don't understand people that don't let other people train at their gyms or let their students train at their gyms. If you're just training with the same people all the time, you'll never improve because you're you're just learning the same shit every session. You need to you need to be going elsewhere. Yeah. Where you can get better. It's like um, doing jiu-jitsu tournaments. Like I don't understand fighters that don't compete in jiu-jitsu tournaments because yeah, you know, a lot of it's to do with ego. Like they're scared to lose. But all the rules. I, <laughs> for me for me I like getting like I don't like getting beat but like I like you know that the idea of getting beat because then I can focus on you know a, a weaker aspect of the game but uh, yeah for me you, you have to train with other people more you won't get any I actually went on holiday up north and ended up training with Aiden <laughs> <laughs> I, I see a lot of fighters doing that oh I'm going up to such and such the noon is there any gyms or whatever? I think Chris Bunger done it in Ibiza. He was training in a gym in Ibiza when he was over there. I even do, I... do it when, when I go on business trips. Like, wherever you yeah. go, you just Google. There's there's a gym anywhere now. Like, pretty much anywhere in the world, you can Google. And it won't be that far. With the price of an Uber, like, most places don't even charge you to train there. Like, it's, it's just an, I don't know, a, a nice thing to do. And... No, even someone at my lame level can get something out of training with new partners, even if you're just there for a week and get like a couple of sessions in. I ended up, I went training when I was over in Florida as well. Like, I went um, to ATT Black Box out there. It was just, it was just, I think it was like half an hour drive from a hotel. So I just I messaged them and was like, look, I come train. They're like, yeah, just come along. Didn't charge me for the session, whatever. I just went along and trained. It was great. So everybody's got the same love for MMA, you know what I mean? Yeah, James Dillon's yeah. really good for that. I don't think I've ever paid for a session at higher level. He always <laughs> just tells me just to keep the money. So anyone anyone watching this, go train at higher level. Aiden, <laughs> 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 does James ever smile? A different training partner yeah. for his team. James smiles more than Scott does. Yeah. <laughs> had, James is actually somebody we've done late show on YouTube when I've wound him up a bit and he did kind of grit his teeth a bit so he did smile a wee bit so. and yeah. have you ever trained in the state? yeah man um, my, my little sister used to go to she, she's, a, she's in a wheelchair and we used to take her to Disneyland Florida all the time to go see all the, yeah. the Disney characters and first we were out there I, I saw it's an opportunity to go train so I I, I Whenever I was out there, I would always train at, uh, look at Peter pretending to drink a tin. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm the, I'm loaded and ready to go, Aiden. Let's go, Ooh, bitch. Shit. Yeah, I trained at um, the Jungle MMA. It's uh, Seth Pitt was always gym out in uh, Florida. Okay. It's, it's, a, it's a really high level. Like, uh, mm-hmm. I went to a jiu-jitsu session one night and it was like just all black belt. <laughs> oh, my like, God. Oh, shit. <laughs> But as when you see a black belt in Scotland, you're like, holy hell, a black belt. But in America, everyone's black belt. Aiden, what belt are you? 
What are you? Purple. Purple. Scott? Purple. Katie? Blue. Katie? Blue. Right. So, I'm nothing. <laughs> so, you who, the show. so you, who thinks I could choke Katie out? Who thinks I could go with Katie? <laughs> no chance. <laughs> who thinks Katie would choke me out? I reckon three minute match Katie would choke her twice. So Katie's a blue belt, yeah. so she must be alright. So. So do you think Katie could choke me out? That's how we judge yes. tonight, then. One hundred percent. I uh, I agree. Aye. Okay, so Katie, <laughs> next year we're going for that and everything back to normal. Peter's up for everybody a square to go tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's us. He's asking you, Frankie. You know what? He's, he's not saying it to me because I were closest to him. He's no. He's because he knows you's our hours away in a car. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys will get with this next year for your office. I stay in my suburb. Did you not say that to me? <laughs> Roll on his front garden. Right. <laughs> Record it live for MMA UK. Uh, that's it. <laughs> I'll jump him and he's just going to be pulling. I'll choke you out more. That'd be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got a good question. So take the UFC. Take, sorry, Katie. Take the UFC um, champion. Bellator champions. Any, is there any Bellator champions who could be a UFC champion? So I don't mm. know if you know anybody at the top of your head. So you got Pitbull. He's no. a Pitbull wouldn't it be. Well, he's no. a double champ, isn't he? Yeah, he's a double champ. There's a couple of double champs in Bellator. So, but he's one. Douglas Lima. Yeah, you have got Bader. Could could Lima beat you, uh, Kamara Us- Usman? Could he beat him? No. 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 No, there you go. Ryan Bader, he's already beat he, John Jones. Already beat him, didn't he? Peter, T O R T's beat Ryan Bader. Let's just leave that question. Uh, hang on, hang on. McFarlane <laughs> versus Shevchenko. There's one because she's undefeated. No. 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 Oh, sick. No. Then you got Cyborg, but the uh, bantamweight vacant in Bellator, but Cyborg holds the other one. The featherweight one. They don't one. have a bantamweight division. But Cyborg, Cy- no, well they do, no. but it's no started yet. But Cyborg called. Said you wanted a USC versus Bellator. <laughs> so you think they could? I think a Cyborg versus Nune rematch could be a 50 50 fight again. It was just, they just went toe to toe in the last one. Is that because uh, Bellator doesn't no. do USADA? But does anybody think Dana would agree yeah. to that? I don't think he would. No, I don't, I don't think Dana would want to give Bellator the publicity. Yeah, like, yeah. He makes money, by, doesn't he? But. By having a, a cross promotion um, fight, I don't think. But also, I don't think that rematch will be close either. I don't think it'll happen there ever either. But. Mm. I, don't, I think <laughs> Patrice Pitbull versus um, yeah, Volkanovski is probably the closest um, out of all of them, but I still think Volkanovski would win. No, I think Lima could beat Usman. Like, no. 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 Yeah. I can't There you go. <laughs> that's, that's a fucking that's a fight and a half. Come on, Doug. Come on, Dougie boy. It'll be a good fight, but I don't. Well, you got you got Israel middleweight, but Bellator have a vacant middleweight title. They were talking about MVP and all that, but MVP. Does anybody think MVP is good enough for UFC? No. Yeah. Yeah? No. Get Ross Houston be MVP. Where in the... Where? <laughs> where about to? Yeah. For a title 10. shot? No. No. <laughs> he's he's, definitely he's not, he's not top 10. So, Aiden, Ross Houston's been calling out MVP. Do you think... Who would win that fight? Ross. There you go. Easy. Nah, um, yeah, yeah, they're a tough fight for both of them. They're yeah, a big fight. I don't... I don't think they'll give it to Ross though. I don't think they'll give him that kind of big fight. I think they'll need to work his way up. But do you think it's a good move for them going to Bellator, or do you think they should have stayed at Cage Warriors and had a couple of super fights and then? Uh, no. Ro- they yeah. see like the fights Ross was having. They mm-hmm. were like UFC caliber. If if they were in the UFC, they'd yeah. those fights, yeah. those fights would be on, you know, the best of two thousand and nineteen or whatever, and it'd be those fights would be. Uh, getting shown everywhere but because it was on Cage Warriors yeah. you know he's not getting the publicity he needs and uh, he's not getting paid the, what he should be getting paid to have fights like that you know what I mean it's not a, yeah. it's not a dig at Cage Warriors but well, the next fight would have been Reese McKay wouldn't it yeah that's a big fight that would have been massive 
I don't like that one. That is that that is a UFC level fight, a hundred percent. Yeah. I would love to see them fight at, at some point in the future as well. Still. No, I think I think Bellator is. Like so that's a good question. Stuff. Who's the next person from Cage Warriors to make it to the UFC? Mm. Is it Mason, Mason Jones or is definitely. it Reese McKay? Mason. Mason. I think he defends his title and then he goes to the UFC. Yeah, defends his title in Wales, I think. Uh, I'd love to see him party. if they can put that event on. Do you think it'll be Paddy versus Mason next? You'd love to see who? Paddy fighting Mason. Yeah. That'd be, that'd be a different. Well, there's so, that's there's that's so many fight that makes sense fights, to me. But I, I, don't, I don't think they'll put that fight on. I don't think they want those guys to fight each other in Cage Warriors because I think they want them both to go to the UFC. I think they're both Soon. managed from the same people. So do you all think Paddy can good enough for mm. UFC then? Yeah, definitely. I think he's he a lot, there's a lot of pressure on him. Yeah. You know, oh, he's a member of comparing him to Conor McGregor and all that about a year ago or more than that. and he had, He's had a few injuries since, but a lot of pressure on that guy's shoulders. and So... We'll see he's, what happens with him. But. He's really young as well. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. But, um, yeah, I, I think the majority of Cage Warriors uh, rosters um, definitely UFC caliber just now. I, I think the problem is UFC only takes so much on it. It just depends if there's a space there. You could be good enough for UFC, but like, well, we've got plenty in that division. We'll yeah. wait. And sometimes your best way in is like a, somebody pulls out into it in a last minute mm-hmm. shot kind of thing. So. Yeah. I think all this is this might just be me, but I think like the, the higher weight classes, I think it's easier to get into the UFC. One hundred percent. Yeah, no, you're right because it's a shallower division, and they're yeah. they're kind of crying out for more competition in in those divisions. So Whereas, if I'm a fat, so if I pile a two stone and become a fat bastard, I'll get in there. And, yeah, yeah. You need to let him fight first, mate. It's, it's definitely Just you again, your white belt. It definitely is. I didn't need belt. Fucking belt. I'm a UFC black belt. <laughs> Peter, are you look like some of the MVP we fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's oh. oh, got me on. I've lost everyone's video. <laughs> So, so, so Peter, was there any other topics you wanted to cover before you downed another pint? Who would win in a rematch between Aiden and Scott? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, would never, I would never. What weight did it take place at? Aiden's too far Mc, for Mc, this. Mc, Mc, McDonald's weight, but it looks a bit. Saying that, Scott does look like a, a welterweight just now. I've got these vegan abs, mate. Even on isolation. <laughs> I don't know You're still you doing the vegan thing, Scott. Is that a forever yeah. thing? Yeah. How are you finding it? To see, like, right now, it's, it's so much easier. It's just, like, natural. My wife and my kids are vegan, really? so it's so easy, yeah. My wife's been vegan for, like, six what years. What did you have for Sunday dinner? Sunday dinner? We don't do Sunday dinner up in the man. I had a mushroom and spring roll curry with some rice. <laughs> so so forget about you two fighting, so just take Nate and Nick Diaz, right? Should should they ever fight to put on 50, 100 million, there you go, you two fight. Do you think you should ever do it? Or would you never I fight? I think they probably have. Yeah, you know, they've done it in Sparring a million times. Oh, like but that. Just in do you general, think ever do like... it as a UFC fight? There you go. What's that? I don't know. I wasn't listening. I was talking about Nick and Nate fighting for a super fight. I know we've done it a million times in sparring and all that. But. How many times do you think they fought outside the gym? Just as brothers? Probably a million. I don't know why I've fought with my brother a good few times. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Too many punches to the head, I can't remember. <laughs> So you got you guys ever worry about your like, brain injuries and stuff? You know I mean, does that ever come in your thinking, or you just think fuck it? See, see if um, if I didn't start fighting so late on, I would think that 
the reason I'm so stupid is because of fighting. But I was like really stupid before <laughs> fighting. But you, but Aidan, you went to college, didn't you? Yeah, didn't man. You? In Aberdeen, didn't you? Uh, Bon Alexander, I think you went to college under huh? No, I, ne- I never went to college in Aberdeen. I did in Elgin. Yeah, Elgin. Maybe I bonded it there as my cousin. She said she went. She did some kind of course with you. I don't know what it was, but yeah, she was Scotland was... goalkeeper. I don't know. Any deal with football, nothing like that. I don't know. I've I can't, always been. I can't remember. She was Femme Baruri anyway. So. But yeah, we did a sports coaching and management. Looked look, look at brain injuries as well, and it was quite quite horrific. But I was like, uh, I'm stupid anyway. So. So did that make you change your mind a bit on safe MMA? Do you agree with that now, or? Yeah, yeah, I do. That I, I agree with that. It's just a ball, like, especially for fighters. Obviously. Fighters are never making a lot of money. I know. So, like, yeah. may, it, it costs more than your actual pay from Cage Warriors. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But well, I do think it's a good idea. Yeah. It keeps us safe. Aiden. What's up? Go load, load up your fighting glass. There we go. Let's man load it up. Um, you ready, Peter? I'll go mine, one more time. Mine's just, mine's just straight out the fridge. But before before we go... Oh, that makes it so much harder, Aiden. Does it? it? Does? Oh, well, we'll see. Yeah, hang on. Katie, next week, next Sunday, yes. 9pm. Right, so Chris Emmanuel, he works for... Well, sorry, Chris Softporn Emmanuel works for <laughs> MMA UK, right? He came up with an idea for a quiz. He said, right, why don't we do play some music and stuff, but... Facebook, you play music, they fucking shut your page down and shit. So I came up with the idea, why don't you come on the show, we'll get somebody else who can sing, and we'll sing MMA fighter walkout songs. Right? Right? And everybody knows I'm a great singer. Right? So before we continue, Scott and Aiden, what's your walkout song? What is it? Boom Boom. John Lee Hooker. Can you sing, Scott? Do you want to sing a bit? I'm a great singer, but I'm not going to sing on camera. Scott, come on, Scott. Come on. <laughs> no chance. Come on, sing There's it. There's not a chance in hell. I've only had four, four fucking beers. Aiden, what's Maybe after walk-out? ten. Aiden, what's your walkout song? Mine changes all the time. So what, what was your last one? Uh, Lullaby by Jerry Cinnamon. Because I, I know... Uh, it's a great song. I know you're into your music, so you want to sing a song? Come on. No. <laughs> Even a wee Peter, bit. Peter, how do you know? Peter, right. how do you know sing James Blunt? Right, hang on. Because <laughs> you're good at that one. Have right, any of so, you ever seen Peter Smoke? Okay. <laughs> I'll share that in the group chat. Yeah, I've sung, with, I've sung with Jane Blunt. I've sung with fucking Louis Capaldi and all the rest of them. Right, fucking let's see brilliant. No, I'll do it next week. <laughs> so next week, me, Katie Hunter. Katie Hunter's going to sing. She's going to sing a song. Chris Emmanuel and Brian Lacey. The AC, ACB, ACA, ABC commentator, whatever the fuck you call it. <laughs> He's going to sing a song, you know. So we're all going to sing some songs, walk out songs, and people get to guess it, right? So that's next week. My so singing's Aiden, as good as my pint drinking. Well, who's all got a pint? We're going again. Let's go. Me and Aiden's ready. Katie, are you going again? Scott. I'm not going Scott. again, no. Scott, are you going I'm again? I've only got half a pint left. Fill it up, fill it no, up. It's just you need. Frankie, Frankie, you're going to count this. So oh, once this is done, show over, and we'll see you next week. Come on, Aiden. Frankie, count it down. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Go on, boys. You motherfucker. <laughs> that was actually faster this time, 5.7. Oh, fuck's sake. Brain freeze. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> You're a bit too saying after him. Fuck off, fuck. Oh. You've got practice, you need practice, Peter. Is that is no live anymore? You okay? No. Well, you boys, stop it. Two seconds. Okay. I thought I'll see you next week. We'll see you next week. Thanks uh, everyone for watching. Thanks for having me. Aiden, Aiden. Uh,